Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, MG Nas, and I'm back again with another NBA pregame video. And today, we got the Sixers pregame. Last game was a disappointing loss, but before we get into this video, make sure to like the video, comment, subscribe, turn on that bell. And also, before we get into this, you already know Justice for Breonna Taylor and all the victims who was taken by the hands of police brutality. And one more thing before we get into this, Doug Peterson, the Eagles coach, has been tested positive for coronavirus. So let's hope our coach gets well. Hopefully he'll be back before the season. But health is first, and that's the most important thing. I don't know if coaches can opt out. If they could, um, I wouldn't I wouldn't get mad if he does. Hopefully he gets better. But we got a Sixers pregame. We all know how last game went. So, first off, we're going to go through the injury report. Um, uh, We have no injured players. I don't think the Spurs have no injured players. Obviously, LaMarcus Aldridge is out for the season. So, I think, I believe the injury report is clean. Um, So, that's all good. We have nothing to worry about. Hopefully, going into this game as far as injury concerns may be. Now, um... Second off, um, let's go through the, the two teams last game. Um, the Spurs, actually, the Spurs played two games before. This is their second game of their back-to-back. -back. The Spurs are on a hot streak, 2-0. Greg Popovich got a win over the Grizzlies today or yesterday. Um, this is their second game of the back-to-back, -back, so this is going to be interesting. This is their... uh. Like I said, they're on a two-game win streak. They beat the Kings and the Grizzlies. The Grizzlies, that was a very big win. And now they're the ninth seed fighting for that eighth seed. They have a better record than the Blazers and the Pelicans right now, who we would thought that would be better than the Spurs going into this bubble. But obviously, we're wrong. So we got the Spurs, who's hot, and the Sixers, we're coming off of a horrible, horrible defensive performance. I mean, when you have our star center and Joel Embiid drop 41 points, 21 rebounds, and we still lose the game, you know that we had to play some type of horrible defense. Yes, I said it. Embiid had 41 points and 21 rebounds. Check the stats. Now, TJ Warren, that we can never let that happen ever again. We cannot play that bad defense. And when that game first started, I said it. I pointed it out in the first quarter. We are playing lazy defense. We don't think this. We don't. We underestimated the uh, Pacers, and now we either learn from this, or if we ever make these mistakes again, we are not gonna do good in the playoffs. I'm telling you right now. But I believe in our team, and I believe we will learn to never underestimate anybody ever again, and don't let that happen. And we got the Spurs here, who's a team. Which I thought by this game, this is their third game, our second. I thought they would basically be having nothing to play for. Obviously, like I said earlier, I think a lot of people, we were wrong. So the Spurs, they're 2-0. They're looking to keep their hot streak. But me, you know, not even being biased, being a realistic fan, I think we're going to win this one. Not as not by as much as I would like us because I know the Sixers, we're not going to blow the Spurs out. But I think we're going to win by 10 I say 115, 105. We um the Spurs kind of keep keep it close, but we pull off in the final moments in the fourth and we close out the game. I think MB has not as a dominant rebound in game um as he did last game, but I think he can have another successful game. I think uh he can have around the 20 to 25 point range with um a 12 10 to 12 rebound game. Um, with the matchups, with the way it is, the Spurs been playing DeMar DeRozan at power forward. We've been playing Ben Simmons at power forward. So that's going to be an interesting matchup. I don't think DeRozan will be able to hold Ben Simmons. I think Ben Simmons might have a 15-point game um, if I'm just looking at the matchups. And then you got another small matchup. You got a 6'5", Lonnie Walker. Oh, on a 6-8 Tobias Harris. That's a matchup we have on that. So just looking at the matchup, we should be able to dominate inside the paint. Um, I don't expect us, and I don't think we should shoot as many threes this game. Um, 
And then we have MB versus Yaka Perto. Yaka Perto, uh, I've been watching him over the last couple of games. He is a very um, good shot, shot blocker. He's a, a center for the San Antonio Spurs. He's a very underrated shot blocker. So MB, he won't be as dominant as he was. He won't have that 41 points. Um, but MB, he will, he will have some success, but not, like I said, not as much as he did against the Indiana Pacers. Um, I think our player of the game this game will be Tobias Harris. I think he can go off for another 30 points like he did last game. Last game, he had 30 points and 8 rebounds. I think he can repeat that performance. I think Tobias Harris is our player of the game. Um, and the like I said, my score prediction... 115 to 105 um, for the Spurs. I can see the Rosen um, being a little bit successful. Um, I can see the Rosen with a 15 point game. I can see. Uh, I can really see Dejounte Murray for them having a. Uh, he can have a really good game. Um, Dejounte Murray will be matched up against Shake Milton, which is interesting with the whole argument with Shake Milton had with Joel and beat last game. So, Shake Milton, he has a longer, bigger DeJounte Murray that will be, uh, that, that's the task he's going to have to handle. And then you have Derek White versus Josh Richardson. Josh Richardson, one of, he's a, a very good defender, so I think he can take care of business on Derek White. So, that is my pregame analysis. Um, hopefully, we don't lose this one as bad as we did last game. Hopefully, we can come out, handle business, do our thing. And, man, hopefully we don't pull the Mavericks because the Mavericks, they lost a bad game to the Suns last night. So, hopefully we don't do that. So, make sure y'all first like the video, comment, share it out to your friends, and subscribe. I want 100 subscribers before football season starts. S football season is projected to start September 10th. I want by September 10th for us to be at 100 subscribers. We are 76 right now. 76, 76ers. But we don't want 76 subscribers anymore. We want 100 subscribers. Like I said, let's get there by September 10th. NFL season kickoff. Let's go, man. Make sure you like the video. Comment, share to all your friends, your family, and sports fans around the world. Subscribe to the channel, Doug Peterson. Hopefully you get better. That's my Sixers pregame, and I'm out. Peace.